Welcome everyone to today's Stitch With Me daily video. And today we are going to um, start a new pattern. It is this beautiful one right here. It is a mini Heaven Earth Designs pattern. It is mini Milagros La Luna. I think that's um, like miracles, miracle of the moon or moon miracles. It's artwork by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. And it's a mini, and I am stitching it on this fabric, which is um, Charles Craft DMC 28 Count Monaco Even Weave. And I am stitching it um, over one using two strands of DMC. I'm going to be doing a tenth stitch or half stitch. And I think I switch between tent and um, what's the other one? Continental stitch? So I don't know. I don't know which is which or when I'm doing what. But I'm going to be starting in this top corner. Basically, I'm doing a new start because I wanted to um, try stitching in hand on 28 count. And this is a design that would fit that. So I'm going to have my um, tablet here. Let me see if I can prop it up with something. Just so I can see it so it's not flat when I'm trying. Okay, there's my tablet. And I'm also going to be trying to stitch in hand. So let me get started with the first color. And this is going to be going to be very exciting because um, the first couple colors in this design are black and a dark navy, almost black. Oh, I just saw that the guys who cut our grass are here, so this video might have to get paused because it gets really loud when they cut the grass. I think for a while I can keep going. So I know this is even weave and you have to be careful about stitches sliding underneath the fabric, but I think as long as I, my experience working with this is as long as I don't pull too tight, the stitches are okay. They don't really, so that's for that color. I'm gonna park right here and start the next color. I start loop start. And this one is short because for some reason the Red that I have lost was cut this short. I don't know why. It's kind of silly, but everything still looks fine on the back. Just checking. doing but I'm out here pretending like I don't know how to park okay so I did that one stitch parking there as you notice I'm not marking right away because there's only two colors I don't really have to worry too much um I think I'm going to stitch in blocks of 20 by 10, which is what the Needle Ninja does. Needle Ninja. And I'm pretty sure I've talked about how I learned. I got a lot of my parking, um, what I do when I park, I learned from her, so.
see, so right now I'm trying to count. <laughs> so I can't really talk and count at the same time. Oh, I know what I can do. Hold on, let me see. So I did one, two, three, four, blue. And then I'm going to do 15 black after that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll just count out loud. Eight. Oh no, don't get tangled up because I wasn't, I was getting so confident that I wasn't paying attention. I was like, oh, look at how fast I can go. Don't do that when you stitch or else you will be like me. Let me get that out of the way, okay. And see, now I just lost count. I wanna say that was nine. So yeah, so I'm not, I'm not stitching in hand. I'm not doing the, you know, not really for any real purpose, but let me, I just wanted to try it. And I, I love just trying new things. If I see something um, that somebody is doing and I think it's interesting, I'll just go ahead and try it because there's no harm in that. All right, now I have to pause and count again because I messed up and stopped counting. So one, two, three, four, there's my blue. And then I have one, two, three, four, There you go, there's 20 stitches right there. I don't know if my camera is focusing. Maybe I need to go closer. Can you all see that? I'm focused. Okay, yep. Just wanted to make sure that that was 20, okay. And so I'm going to come back across now. Yeah, so, I mean, I was watching some old, older um, videos from Stitch and Mommy and you know, I know that she stitches in hand. I remember seeing that, but I saw her stitching a full coverage piece on 40 count. Um, and I just thought that was interesting. I thought I wanted to try it. So I don't have 40 count. The highest count I have, well, I do have 40 count, but it's 40 count linen and I didn't want to I kind of think I have those fabrics bookmarked for different projects. Um, but I thought I'd try it on 28 count. And this 28 count Monaco by Charles Craft or DMC, it's very stiff. I don't know if I've already said that. I don't know if there's like, it's probably just stiffener. I was gonna say spray starch or starch. Is it called spray starch? I just remember my dad, my dad was in the army and then he was a, after he retired, he was a correctional officer. And I remember he would iron his own uniforms and he would always starch everything. So I kind of can picture the, 
I just remember him with the ironing board in the TV room and everything smelled like spray starch. Um, and then I don't iron anything, really. Um, I do own an iron <laughs> and I do own a an ironing board, but I think the only thing I ever iron is um, fabric when I I'm like piecing together a quilt top. I call it that, I don't call it quilting because I just like to buy fabric, cut it up, and then piece it together like um, like scrappy quilts, I guess. But that is when I use my iron board and my iron. How did I get started on that? Cause I was talking about spray starch, I guess, yeah. Okay, so, am I still seeing? Am I out of focus? I think that's okay, focus. But yeah, this fabric is very stiff and I like that for stitching in hand. Um, yeah, so I worked on a couple projects this weekend. One was on Ada, one was on linen, and both of them I was stitching in hand. Kind of liked it. Um, if you've watched my other Stitch With Me videos, I usually, usually stitch on some sort of a frame or a hoop. And um, I usually am a two-handed stitcher. That's really, so I've been having issues with my left elbow, which is so when I two hand stitch, I'm just gonna put this down. When I two hand stitch, I have my right hand under my fabric and then my um, left hand is like pulling, pulling on top. And so I think that repetitive motion of pulling, pulling for some reason has uh, aggravated my left elbow. So if I don't like stitching in hand, I could always go back to stitching on a frame or in a hoop, but just one-handed, kind of the same thing I'm doing here. Um, but I don't know, we'll see. Okay, then I need to park this other color. So as you can tell, I am going stitch by stitch and I'm not sure if that's something I will continue throughout the whole project. It's just easy right now because I'm only dealing with two colors. But my concern, if I don't do that and if I just um, So my concern, let me mark here. Oops. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? So my, what was I going to say? My concern if I don't go stitch by stitch and if I leave empty spaces, you know, if I jump around, my concern like right here, if I were to stitch all of the black squares and then left these holes where it's the black square with the circle in it, 
I'm concerned that I won't necessarily easily see that. I mean, I guess because I'm using Pattern Keeper, I will know, hey, there's a, there's a stitch there. I still have to stitch. Um, so Pattern Keeper will let me know that, but I don't know. We will see. I think maybe I will try, I'll try both ways, right? And see which one seems to work best for me and which one I feel most comfortable with. Okay, so this next row is literally all this color. Actually, I have two rows of this one color back and forth. Okay, I'm going to maybe stitch some of this off camera because this might be, I mean, it's just literally 310. Um, and it might get noisy here in a little bit. So I'm going to stitch some of this off camera and then I will come back and do some more stitching maybe when I have more colors to show. Okay. All right, I am back and I have 200 stitches done. And this is what 200 stitches on 28 count, two over one tenth stitch looks like. I mean, that's just itty bitty, right? But I also left this one stitch unstitched um, because I wanted to see, like, would it be obvious if I forgot a stitch? And yes, it's pretty obvious. So I guess technically I just did 199 stitches because I left that one undone. Um, so that's not too bad. I don't think I don't know if I'm going to stitch much on this um, on camera just because when I stitch it I prefer to have it closer to my face <laughs> so I can see what I'm doing um, but no that's my start on my mini so I'm excited I think I'm going to come down a little bit oh let me yeah so I think I'm going to come down a bit work in these two columns to work in the 20 stitch column come down a bit but then at some point I'm going to go across just in this row go across just so I can get an idea of how big this is going to be I don't know, I kind of like to see that, but then I'm, I'm not going to keep working across. I'm just gonna keep working down. Um, yeah, so I think that's gonna be it on this one for today. And thank you again for joining me in today's video. And I hope that um, if you enjoyed it, you'll subscribe. I think what I'm going to go record now is I have a restart and um, I kind of want to get going on that one. That's on 25 count, so that'll be fun to work on after having worked on this one. All right. So thanks again, everyone for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.